You are alive. Anybody out there? Oh, <laughs> Whoa. That's a, a lot of people already. Yeah. Here we go. Moika. Cool. How many people do we have? Can you guys hear us? Okay. <laughs> We are alive. How does it feel to be alive? <laughs> Here we can see the attendees. We have 335 at the moment and come going up. Cool. So now we have to post it YouTube. Link. Yes, let's do that. So. The video manager. There it is. Somebody says, Yari, we can't see you. I guess we'll get tighter. Now the YouTube video is public as well. Cool. So now we post the link. Let's go back. Uh, Wait a minute. How do I get back? The channel. That's the Live now. Somebody there it is. Closer to them. I guess it depends. Whether people are on mobile or now desktop or something. Post this link to Facebook. All right. Live now. Somebody there it is. Close. Okay, and now post link. The YouTube link. the YouTube link. Just live now. <clears throat> okay, let's start. Cool. So let's do this shit. So guys, ask us anything you want. We are here for you. Come to Dubai. Cool. We'd love to. I have the messages come so fast. Yeah, I the screen. Is it just that? that or I think so. No, it's no. A, it's a, 
Yeah, no. Did, did no, it change okay. for you guys? Can you see both of us now? Too many questions. You guys are too fast. How do you get your guitar tone? Can we pause the chat? New Zealand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Don't go crazy on me. It's like slower. Five <laughs> messages a second, so it's a bit too hard to catch up. But... Nick, can we uh, pause the chat? Like, no. Okay, okay. Then we have to be fast. Somebody says greetings from, from Vasa. Greetings back to Vasa. How big is Yaris' nose? It's very big. <laughs> Romania, cool. Okay, one at a time. Somebody asks about new guitars. New guitars is going to be revealed. revealed after the campaign. Yeah, next month. Very soon. Where is Yukka and Kai? They are home, chilling. Probably watching this with popcorn. Come to Australia, that would be cool. Damn, why Ibanez guitars? Uh, I always played Ibanez since since I started, so I always love the feel of them. The, the Musk neck and everything. Ilya. Yaris knows, get some more comments. <laughs> Top three comments. <laughs> Time to Yaris knows then. Come to Chile. <laughs> Why not Jackson? Well, I used to have a Jackson in the NC Ferrum days. I still have it though. It's good. What happened to the Telecaster? I have it at my home. Still use it for some clean, clean sounds. Yeah, special tone. Somebody asked where we are. We are at my workspace at Sonic Pump Studios. This is a space that I rent for myself for guitar lessons and practicing and some recording and, and sometimes the winters and stuff as well. Why wasn't Sami at the Expendables Choir? He had something, some other business at, at the time. When will we get the package? We get this a lot. Um, this was mentioned in the Indiegogo campaign page. If you read the whole story, it says uh, at the bottom that uh, the forest package will be released the same day as Nuclear Blast releases the yeah. Forest Seasons album. Everybody will get it the same day. So it will be very exciting day. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> How do you play computer ga games? Well, not anymore. I haven't played them. Maybe. Well, I played some Skyrim and uh, Grand Theft Auto, like. Five years ago, I don't know when it came out. But since then, I haven't played anything. My plan is when I'm old and the graphics are much better, then I will start gaming again. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm seventy, if I live that long. Tilda, yeah. Ocarina of Time, maybe the best game ever. Will you ever re-record Immemorial? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I have so much, so much new stuff that I want to record, so... I need more time. What so, do you feel? What? <laughs> so One at a time. Somebody asks, are we going to build an analog or digital studio? Digital. Yeah, more digital stuff. Digital is more accurate. And easier to use. Well, 
what picks do you use? I have, I have here. Do we have our own signature? Yeah. It's gotta be sharp to get the attack. So this is the, the same pick, just in black and with the Winter Hill logo. We have these sales every once in a while. This one has my signature, Yaris has his, and Yuk, Yuk has a white one. <laughs> Who wants one? <laughs> Raise your hand. <laughs> Come to a show. So yeah, it's a Dunlop Altec Sharp 1.0 mm. Pick of Destiny. I need that pick. Yeah, you play much better with that pick. Somebody says, please tell us about silver leaves. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a kind of a this slow ballad song, but very beautiful, very much oriental melodies. It's the last song on time too. Brazil, yes, when it's winter time here, I want to come to Brazil. That would be nice. Netherlands, yeah, we've been there a couple of times. Yeah. Great people, good shows. Argentina, yeah, we definitely want to come to South America. We haven't been there yet. Somebody, Milloin, somebody was speaking Finnish. Milloin to the Oulu. When are you coming to Oulu? It's a northern city in Finland. Well, we are maybe planning some more Finnish shows, hopefully, yeah. after summer. We'll be in Numirok and Tuska Festival in Finland. Yeah. But maybe we'll have some club shows as well later later this year in the autumn time. I love your green Jackson. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty epic. Has a magic touch. Somebody asks, what is second campaign? Well, we have some ideas for the second campaign, but but it's not totally set yet. What we're gonna do? It depends. Who where we're going to get with this first campaign and then we're going to put our thoughts together and hopefully get some feedback from you guys also what you would like to see in the, in the next campaign. Yeah, and we're going to be touring first with the Forest Seasons album. And uh, well, we have already some some items ready for the second campaign, but we need to make more. Yari, what is your favorite beer? At the moment, I like the Brooklyn beer. <laughs> Somebody wants me to rap. I can't rap. Well, I love the rap part on Steve Weiss' Sex and Religion, where David Townsend does this sort of rap. I can do that but I can't remember the lyrics anymore. Somebody asks, did you mix and master the albums yourself? Yeah. Yeah, basically I'm doing everything since time one, because I want to have the true vision. And basically I'm, I've always done music by myself. I started as a little boy to, with a four track recorder, then moved to eight tracks, and then 16 tracks, and then thousand tracks. <laughs> Do you smoke or what? I don't smoke. Me neither. Nobody in the back. Only crack. <laughs> no, don't do drugs. Only beer for me. Guitar influences. 
I guess guitarist. Steve Vai and Yngwie. Yeah, for me, when starting out, Yngwie and Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, Petrucci, the yeah. you know, usual guys, but then also Marley Friedman. Yeah, yeah, more exotic stuff. And, and lately, Godfrey Govan, Greg Howe, Rick Graham, a lot of great modern guys. What the hell is this Turul Sinappi guy? <laughs> Finnish Mustard. Siltoid. Guthrie Govan. Teemulaisin. I'm not so much into the fusion z z jazz thing. A lot of immemorial comments. Somebody says, Larry, can you say for the, for the realms? I guess from the realms. From the realms. <laughs> Did you got the money shot? Yeah, lots of them. Portugal. Yeah, we're coming to Portugal this year. Yeah, Vagos. Vagos Metal Festival. It's gonna be hot, but I like it hot. What is your favorite food? Uh, steak and french fries and Coca-Cola. I think not very healthy, but I think mine tastes is, good. Mine is some chicken, uh, chicken pasta probably at the moment. What about Devin? He's gonna be at Tuska too. Should we try to? I am very excited about that. Oh yeah, that's good. Maybe do this. We can zoom into the comment section. Yeah, that's better. Spirit. I don't know if you guys see it also like this, the comments are kind of going really fast. Yeah, slow down, guys. We can't handle this. Uh, something about the United States, hopefully, coming there soon as well. Yeah, we're planning some summer. tours. Let's see what happens. Definitely want to come there. Again. Yeah, do you watch American football? No, I don't. That's not very big here in here in Finland. Let's see. Now we have well, chat. Where's the chat? There is. Okay. Box tone lab. Somebody. Yeah, that's my secret weapon. It has a killer lead tone. Easy to play and. Sounds great. I recorded the whole Four Seasons album with it. Somebody says Rick Run, Rick Run Down would be cool to do one once we get our setup kind of uh, updated and go on tour. Somebody mentioned Axe Effects. Well, we're still going to be playing Axe Effects live. Yeah. But Mesa Boogie is. My favorite. Yeah, for, for studio massage. Great. Why do we then use Xfax Live? Where, well, it's very uh, very convenient and lightweight to have on tour and you know, you have so many so many sounds inside a small box instead of carrying around a tube amp and mm -hmm. having a backup for the tube amp if the tubes, tubes break and all that. Yeah. There's a good beer in India. Send me some. <laughs> <laughs> Let's import it to Finland. There was some, something about isolated tracks. Hockey teams. Somebody mentioned Game of Thrones. Well, you have watched it. I haven't. Yeah, it's not my favorite show. I, li I, I like Bold and the Beautiful more. Favorite movie, Braveheart. 
Matrix and uh, There Will Be Blood. Daniel Day Lewis, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Shawshank Redemption for me. Yeah, a lot of great movies. Favorite vodka? I don't drink vodka anymore. It's too hardcore. I'm too old for that shit. Top five something. <laughs> what was that? Slow down, guys. Can't read. Something about touring. So yeah, the the plan is now to play some festivals. We have, um, I think, thirteen festivals booked at the moment, uh, or twelve yeah. or thirteen, and a couple more that are not announced yet. And uh, yeah, festivals, maybe even a few club shows in between in August, and then then uh, doing more club shows from September uh, towards the end of the year. Hopefully some tours in Europe and North America, maybe even in South America, let's see. Yeah. Our manager is trying to work something out. How old are you, guy? 39. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> no, I love this shit. Yeah, I just turned 30. I remember when you turned 30. Yeah, he's an old man <laughs> now, too. <laughs> Where are you 19 when you joined the band? Or 18? 17. What? Yeah, that was 2004, December. What song is the most difficult? All the songs are very easy. Austria, yeah, hopefully Austria as well. Yeah. When what? When can we expect time to? Well, first we have to build the studio. Then I can start probably reamping the guitars for it and mixing it in the proper room. And yeah. But there will be more great stuff. Somebody asked about pop singers. You you like a lot of female pop singers. Yeah. Uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, she's good. Great singer. I love lots of Swedish female pop artists like uh, Agnes and Lorraine and uh, Robin and uh, September. And of course, Jenny Vartian is Finnish. I just killed my career. <laughs> <laughs> Top five something. Top five something. <laughs> Slow down, guys. One at a time. Yeah, Madonna. Yeah. Confessions on a dance floor is a great album. Good sound, one of my mixing references. Favorite Ensi Ferrum album, somebody asks. The first one, of course. Or was it a firm song? I love that first song on the new, new album, it's killer. What was the name? I can't remember. But the first that one starts with double bass drums. What do you? Somebody asks about writing process. I think this is interesting. Can you mm. explain? Well, I basically just play something with electric, with my electric guitar acoustically at home and just try to come up with some riffs. And if I play chords, I try to uh, kind of hum melodies on top uh, like come up, come up with melodies in my head on top of the chords and try different chords and see what see what i like and then i put everything in on my iphone 
and then later I start and uh, kind of uh, categorize them in different folders, like this is melodic metal and this triplet, triplet riff, and uh, this is fast up, this some oriental melody and stuff like that. And then later I start to uh, kind of combine, combining them in Cubase and work, work there forwards. And you make a lot of variations as well, right? Like when you have a riff, then you make like... Yeah, that's one of my problems. If I make one riff, I can make 10 or 20 variations of that riff. And it's hard to decide what's the best. <laughs> Croatia. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we've been, been there one time. Somebody says post chat, scroll down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good tip. What software do you use for orchestration? I use a lot of the East West stuff, and then I have some Vienna libraries. And then, of course, I love the Omnisphere, although it's very hard on the CPU. And then another syn synthesizer is the Nexus, which I love. And then I have the what is it? Ethno, ethno world. So I have, have some kind of folk, folk instruments from different countries. Best hair. <laughs> Do you Speedfire? No. I should check it out though. Zoom in. Wacken. Not this year. Let's hope next year. Let's see what happens if we click mute the chat. Top five guitar albums. Passion and Warfare. Nothing. Okay, so we have almost 500 people here. Oh, shit. Here come the Krees, hopefully as well. Physical CD content. Yeah, Nuclear Blast is gonna release the CD of the four seasons as well. And everything will be released the same day. So guys, did you like our surprise today? Forest Packets expansion. Are you happy? <laughs> Girlfriends. <laughs> Only boyfriends. Somebody's happy. Good. Somebody has, somebody's asking about vinyl. There's going to be probably, well, there is going to be a vinyl version. Yeah. Uh, from Nuclear Blast as well. What are these? That's a good question. By blocking the chat. Yeah. Try to click them away. What the hell are those? Can you click them away? That's not. Here are some questions as well. We can do many ways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Back. 
I'll keep it there. Will Kai be touring with you? Yes, he will. What's this Demilic? I don't understand. Somebody asks about winters and beer. Um, oh yeah, this is something we actually discussed at one point. If it could, Yuka wants to make. Yeah, he's a he's a beer expert. So perhaps, maybe. Say hi to me, guys, please. Hi. Hi. Hi! God damn it, the chat is so fast. Slow down, guys, so we can read. Somebody asks again about CD and release date. So also for those who didn't join from the beginning, uh, the forest package included in the Indiegogo campaign is all digital and it's going to be released uh, on the same day as Nuclear Blast releases the physical versions of, of the forest seasons. Yeah, in July. It will be an epic day. Hard solo. Hmm. Well, there's a couple of difficult solos in time, too. <laughs> <laughs> the way of the fire is pretty. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty difficult. That's challenging. Well, then we're going to be playing the solos live now, also. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the Windsor Madness already? Yes. Yeah, it's it's challenging, but it's gonna be fun. So we can, come to a show and we can we can compare. See that. if we can handle it. Right. What? Let's let's show the finger length. So this is the other fingers. Can, can we? Maybe this is hard. Too hard to see. It's about. Let's say middle finger. Uh, not that big of a difference. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for me. In the area solos, the big stretches are maybe the, the hardest thing to do, it, it, especially if you have the guitar low enough, then your you know, wrist goes like this. Did someone mention Daniel Freiberg, the new bottom guitarist? He's our friend. Most personal song. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe time, eternal darkness, and loneliness. Those are pretty personal. Oh, Somebody's of, doing lots of. <laughs> Lot of caps. capital. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't shout, please. Vista vai vasta. Vista. Yeah. Fantastic songs. How do we get these out of here? Uh, remove and re stick here, I guess. Displace the. What the hell are those? I can't read the chat.
Can we expand the chat? What is your relationship with Enziferum? Very good. We are friends with the guys and I've been a friend of Marcus a long time. My finish so hot. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> Immemorial. Well, it's old stuff, and I have so much new stuff to do. So I want to con concentrate on the new stuff, which is much better. Do you have any questions there? Yeah, I'm trying to pick some, but it's, it's a little fast here. I'm having my laptop here on the side, if, if anybody wonders what I'm watching here on the side. Reap, see you yes. What? <sighs> Say something in Finnish. No terve. No more. Mitä kuuluu? What model or something? Okay, slow down guys. One at a time. Do you have anything there? More finish. <laughs> what? More finish. Uh, no so <laughs> funniest accident. Well, if talking about accidents during shows, let's see. We didn't ever fall off the stage or nothing that funny. We had some. What happened like, in Sabaton when I just started singing and not playing guitar? I guess the, the guitar signal went out. Yeah, every once in a while there's some te technical problems and we've had some... some Maybe at that point I knew I'm going to be just a singer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was destined. Right. Yeah. I think the worst that have happened is like some blackouts, like all the powers gone from the show, but then usually that's not our... You know, that's not in our hands. Yeah, metal days there was. Yeah, that was unfortunate, but that was the... the that thing. wasn't funny. Yeah. <sighs> that happened like two, three times. Hopefully we can come there soon. Yeah, be nice. And get some extra minutes to play. Yeah. So guys, are you excited about the four seasons? Let us know. How tall are you, Yari? What the Jana? Jana. Jana. First guitar ever. Well, my dad built this kind of half acoustic electric guitar. It's kind of red, red yeah. guitar. And after that, I bought my first or my parents bought me this black Jackson PS something. Yeah. And yeah, for me it was Ibanez RT three twenty. Just my first one. North American tour. Hopefully this year. Let's see if we can make it happen. Forest season something. I missed it. So somebody asked about the story behind Star Child. I can't even remember. 
when was that written? Uh, 2002 or something, 2003. Yeah. But some of the riffs were actually earlier, earlier than that. But the lyrics were written before I went to record the album. I will always have these ideas about the lyrics, but when time passes, you forgot got those visions and ideas. People ask more about guitars than what model Ibanez did you use? Uh, mainly RG models, different RG models. I have a couple custom shop ones that are my, my main guitars, the, the two blue ones. One that you can maybe see in the background. Mm. What's that release it immediately? Release what? He's really firing away. Come on, hold on, guys. One at a time. Don't try to block others. Do you like ESP? Well, I haven't played them much. Don't don't know. Will you come to France? Hope so, but nothing planned yet. And no, we have Fr France, so did we? I think it's not announced yet. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How's your health, Yari? It's fine. Trying to stay healthy. Go for a runs in the forest. And some team. Will you will you do full orchestra on time two? No, because all the orchestration is already done. No. But maybe after that we might do some live shows with full orchestration. We have yeah. a chance to do that. That's always been one of our dreams as well. But of course demands lots of budget. Spain, 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 Spain. Release part of the package now. No. <laughs> you will have everything on the release date and it will blow your minds. Play a riff from the future, something. Somebody asks, how do you rehearse? Well, um, usually we do only rehearsals, rehearsals before shows. So we get together two, three days before shows and, and rehearse different places. We never had like our own rehearsal place. So we rent somebody else's place and then put together the stuff. and. Yeah, and play through the songs. Now, since we're gonna be doing some new songs, we're gonna do a little bit more rehearsals before the first shows and start rehearsals uh, like early May, and then do um, three, four sessions together. Probably first time do like uh, production rehearsals as well, where we mm. actually rehearse on stage. Now that we are gonna have a new new lineup, we're gonna try to make the show as epic as possible and make everything work great. Yeah. We have questions there. Can we post that? <laughs> Thanks. <so. clears throat> Why did you name the band Winters? Well, I was trying to find a good name for the band. I, I already had uh, already had the songs Winter Madness and Beyond the Dark Sun done and uh, I kind of wrote and wrote all these kind of key key words that I would kind of possibilities that could 
be the name. And then I also asked one of my friend, the singer of Artemisia, and uh, he also kind of suggested some names. And then I kind of noticed the winter man is beyond the dark sun, kind of picked the winter and picked the sun and put them together. So simple as that. <laughs> so it came from th those two songs. Summer Moon. Somebody asks, besides Tone Lap, what, what other amp did you use? No other amps. On the four seasons, yeah. No other amps, only Tone Lap. And also the lead sound was the same sound as the rhythm sound. It has this kind of sp special tone. Why not release it now? Well, we can because Nuclear Blast would be very angry with us. We are going to release the same same time as them. Somebody who's the new guitar player? Well, next month we're going to announce him and release him. Somebody Propose that you should release your hair. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. Only on the stage. Some question about Asian shows. Yeah, that, that would be cool. It would be really cool. We've um, we've had some discussion before about it, but uh, never really were able to fit it in the schedule. But, but hopefully now, mm. with this album's shows, yeah, definitely. Stop with the spam. <sighs> Slow down, guys. Take it easy. I think can we mute it here? No, but but uh, here on the laptop, when I pressed mute, it actually stopped the question. So now we have questions here. So we can scroll through. Oh, yeah. Can you play Windsor Marriage solo live for us? Go ahead. <laughs> yes, live. Uh, the first show is going to be the Sweden Rock on the 8th of June, so then, then you'll see. Oh, yeah. Neighbors, we're coming for you. How many hours you practiced? Uh, I don't know. All day. Yeah whenever possible in in the beginning you know when, when i started playing then i was totally into guitar and you know eight hours or ten hours went by it's just you know it was like easily a, like an obsession right right but you you know you had a lot of time then and you know yeah nowadays i i do still play all the time i i teach so i easily have still eight eight to ten hours guitar you know, on my lap, but but it's you know maybe an hour or two hours of own practice and then other things, recording and, and learning songs and and teaching the rest of the time. Make a nuclear blast mad! Release it now! <laughs> no, we have now good relationship with nuclear blast. We can do good deal that works for everyone. Yeah, yeah, we're really happy that um, that they were able to compromise as well and make a deal with us that they kind of saw the potential and, yeah and uh, yeah hardest part of recording the forest seasons maybe the vocals were the most difficult because there are some 
new kind of vocals, especially the chorus of loneliness. It's a very high key and long, long notes with, with vibrato. Line six. Oh yeah, you have the line six as well, right? Should yeah, but I haven't played it that much. Actually, I used it on first years as well. Oh, but it's it was only for one special sound for the intro of Eternal Darkness. To have this more dark sound, evil sound. Somebody says, as top players, what's left for you both to learn about guitar? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's always always something to learn. The more you learn, then the more you realize that there is to learn. I think this is with yeah. everything. Listen. Favorite metal release of 2016. Can't remember what was released. Can you? I don't listen to metal that much. I just make it. I love Carpenter Brut. That's almost metal. Very, very aggressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. Can we expect some Finnish songs, I guess Finnish lyrics in the songs in the future? Well, time to has one, one verse uh, sang in Finnish, like, like in Laila Hey, the rest of the song is in English. Maybe a collaboration with Carpenter <laughs> Brother. <laughs> that would be epic. <laughs> I don't know if there's something like wrong with the chat or are you guys like posting the same stuff you know multiple times it's, uh, yeah it's a bit confusing Post new questions ask anything Let's zoom in here So fast. Somebody asked a slow reader. Which song has to finish? Lyrics. Do you wanna reveal that? I just need Oh you Yeah. Oh I just time to silver leaves. Auto crash. Come to a show. Yeah. In a signing session. Or catch us somewhere on the street. <laughs> <sighs> Hobbies, I guess, besides music, sports, movies. What do I do? Well, we, we okay. do some sports sometimes together as so. well. Oh, you do photography now as so. well. Oh, I yeah, have photography. What is badminton? Mm -hmm. Let me, does this work? Uh, yeah, maybe. Unmute here. Then, oh, okay. Then it works like that. Yeah. Zoom. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Pitch. Jesus Christ. 
It's bad. <laughs> Favorite black metal band? I like Dissection and Emperor. How bad is badass is Jukka's Crow? It's very badass. Yeah. I wonder if he's watching. Jukka, are you there? So. He's the one spamming. God damn it, Jukka. <laughs> Stop it! Something about camera. Do you want to tell about the camera setup and photography tips? How you got into that? Uh, well, two years ago, two and a half years ago, we started planning this crowdfunding and uh, and I knew we would need to make many videos. So uh, I had to buy a camera and start learning stuff. And I watched lots of YouTube tut tutorials and learned that way. And of course, on my own. And I uh, started bringing the camera to my runs to the forest. And then I started getting great photos and kind of started to de develop my own kind of editing style. And at the same time, I was, I started recording the Four Seasons album and I thought that maybe I could actually do this booklet myself. And it worked out pretty great. I'm really happy with the booklet. When the headquarters are built, will other other local bands be able to use it? Well, the plan is because we have so much of our own stuff to use it mainly ourselves and to record our own albums as fast as possible, you know, because we're getting older, so we want to release all the stuff before we die. <laughs> Yeah, and also I think it wouldn't function that well as a commercial studio where somebody could just rent it because it's very it's gonna be our own setup, you know, everything the way that you know yeah, our we like rehearsal work. place as well. Yeah, yeah. So so we you know, if if you rent the commercial studio, usually the setup is kind of kind of normal in a way, you know, they have pro tools and you know, the kind of gear that you would expect to find in any studio whereas our studio is going to be, you know, tailored to our own taste and, you know, mm. our specific, you know, gear that we want to use. Yeah. New album for the second campaign. Well, that's the plan. To do a new album for <clears throat> each campaign. Yeah. Something about extended range guitars. Yeah, we've used some Ibanez, uh, Ibanez RGDs with the twenty-six point half-inch scale. That seems to give a nice, nice. Uh, yeah, it's probably my best rhythm guitar. Yeah, nice sound and feel for for lower tunings. Mm. The extended scale really helps. Mm. Makes it a bit tighter. With the live at Tuska in the Four Seasons package, will that be just audio or does it include video? No, it will be just audio, but it's mixed and mastered really well. Yeah. Although I do say so myself. Maybe we're gonna do some proper live DVD at some point, but yeah, again, it needs much more planning and and yeah, watch it. Yeah, and we're to try to. Try to film this summer a lot of the festivals, like not professional videos, but you know, use 4K camera and try to film the shows. And let's see if we can 
got get some good quality. I saw that you swapped out your EMCs recently. Did you go back to DiMarcio's? No, I just swapped them for the Paul Gilbert model Ibanez because I wanted to have at least one guitar for the clean sounds. I mean, EMC isn't the best, at, at least in my opinion, for the clean sounds, but it, it is definitely the best for the distortion, the heavy sound. It's legendary. <laughs> Holy shit. Play a riff from the future project. Somebody would steal it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a war going on here. Is the new guitar player finished? Can we really reveal that yet? I guess not. <laughs> Somebody, you will find out soon. Yes, very soon. Somebody says, how do we feel about passing the ideal goal? Well, we're really, really uh, humbled by all the support that we've gotten from, from all the fans. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We we knew that we have a solid package and, and you know it's worth worth the money. But we were pretty uh, excited about the, the. Yeah, it's of course exciting to see it happening for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully we can now get still to the stretch goal that we just released today. If, if somebody didn't see it yet, it's now we decided to have the stretch goal as half of the final goal. Mm. So I guess we worked really hard for a long time for this. Yeah, there's been also some some comments like, you know, why do you need this much money to release one album? But what some people don't realize is that we don't need this money for releasing the album. We need it to, and not even just to release time too, but to release, you know, a lot of future albums. They all all will be done in the headquarters in the studio yeah so it's not just for for one or two albums it's gonna be a lot of future music that is yeah that is somebody asked here how much stuff how much material do you have ready to record well uh, i have probably at least one album with all the songs kind of written already so I kind of just have to record it and uh and the future stuff, I have probably over a thousand riffs and melodies and song ideas and all, also lyrics. So probably good stuff for at least for five albums. Yeah, and then you have these concepts as well. Yeah, I have different concepts for all the albums. I don't want to reveal too much yet. First forest seasons. Yeah. <laughs> Should we zoom into that? Let's have some new questions, guys. No caps lock spam, <laughs> please. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> How did this zoom work? Zoom. Ah, zoom. Wait. Doesn't work.
come to Ukraine. Yeah, hopefully. Let's pause. What shampoo do you use? I use different ones. What do you think about people misunderstanding your intentions for this company? Well, I think some of some of the people are kind of don't have all the facts and they haven't read all read and watched all the videos and all the all the what we have shared. Yeah, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding, you know. And people just read somebody's comment and then, you know, they don't do any research themselves or watch any of the documentary videos, for example. If somebody watches the the main campaign video and the documentaries, then that should clear pretty much all our intentions and you know mm. and it's it's pretty unlikely that you know uh, you know that would cause so much hate messages like like we've been getting you know people say that you know. yeah first there was some hate but after that we released the forest documentary and i think the tide kind of started shifting yeah yeah and of course we knew that there's going to be controversy and yeah we accepted that and we wanted to kind of reach for the for the true winters and fans the ones that really you know kind of uh the diehard fans. yeah the diehard fans and, and we were able to do that so that's that's uh it's great Greetings from Tampere, favorite festival. Well, I really love the Tuska festival because it's in my hometown and uh, it's in the middle of summer, so I love summer. Yeah, Tuska is really nice. Wish it was summer, summer already. <laughs> yeah, it's only like five minute walk from here where we are. Numerok is nice as well. We've been there a couple of times. So yeah, nice to go back. Midsummer party. Let's see, we are playing a lot of new festivals this yeah. summer. Yeah, new it's countries. It's gonna be exciting. So it's been an hour. Should we start wrapping this up? I need to take a piece, anyways. <laughs> Okay, so let's say last ke last questions in. Last questions. And maybe we do a few more. You guys killed Temu's laptop. Yeah. Top five or something. It's the 
something about Hans Zimmer. Did you catch that? Hans Zimmer. He's coming to Finland. Yeah. Guy is actually going to see the show. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. It's actually at the time when we start our first rehearsals. Somebody asked about inspiration. What is the general inspiration for writing stuff? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> whatever happens to be. Yeah, I guess it's just whatever is happening at the time. Well, I know at least for time album it was those movies like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Memoirs of a Geisha, those soundtracks really influenced me. And of course always hearing new music and get inspiration for our other people's music as well. Of course never copy. Try to make your own own style. Different tune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see a couple more questions. Yeah, then we have to wrap this thing up so it won't be too long. Oh, no. Let's try to... Somebody said. Can you play Slayer of Light? Remember the story behind Beyond the Dark Sun? No, I wrote that song 1998. So that's that's an old one. Yeah. Would you like to write soundtracks? Well, probably not. At least at the moment, I don't know in the future. But I have so much my own stuff to do. So. Try to focus on that and put all my time for winter sun. Metal days, probably not this summer, but hopefully, hopefully next summer again. A really nice place. Yeah. How do I compose the orchestra stuff? Well, first, usually I have the the melody or or a riff. I just just start to try different sounds on top and playing something on top, and it kind of goes from there. And sometimes I already kind of know that know that I need a kind of arpeggiator part here and another melody here. Stuff like that. How do you pronounce your names? Yari, Teemu, Kai, and Jukka. Okay, shall we do one last question and then then we wrap it up? Find a good one. Okay. 
Okay, let's do a couple quick ones. What does it mean that in time 1.5 each track is separate, so the album is not continuous like the original? It means all the songs are like individual songs now, so they don't continue like in the original. So, for example, Sons of Winter and Stars just starts with a wind, and then the harp part starts, and like the and the intro track is an a separate track. When real time 1.5 isolated tracks be released at the same time as the whole package will be released in July with everything else with the new album and also the new album's isolated tracks. Well, this is a pretty brutal one. Can I answer that? Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to answer that. Um, Spirits part three. Do you have any advice for guitar players? Maybe that's that's the last one to wrap it up with. You will take this one. This question. Well, you can. He's a guitar teacher. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things to consider, but uh, I'm gonna piece my pants soon. <laughs> uh, learn the music that you like to listen to. Um, if you like listening to you know technical death metal then learn songs that you like if you like a lot of lots of different styles then try to learn lots of songs from different styles and get some tablature books and watch some youtube instructional videos yeah there's a lot of material nowadays available free you know for everyone to find it, it wasn't like this when when we started playing even when i started playing yeah i was running to the library to see if they have some instructional videos yeah same with me um, use tabs, you know, if, if it helps you, but remember to use your ear as well. Don't trust tabs blindly. Get no. some lessons from them. Le <laughs> lessons from, from a good teacher. That's always good advice. Um, find a teacher that inspires you and that um, has, has uh, an ability to teach you to play the stuff that you want to play. Yeah. And play like crazy. Six hours a day at least. Yeah, I learn learn everything from different styles. I I kind of developed my touch learning like bands like Extreme, you know, no no bet better chord. Yeah. And you no know, lots of different kind of different kind of me metal. That's how you develop and get more touch yeah so and remember to have fun when you're playing you know don't think that you know you have to practice 10 hours because somebody else yeah. they practice 10 hours if you're not having fun it's not for you right right um, you have to really be passionate about it yeah I, I think if 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 you have the passion then you will find the way to do it you know uh, then you'll be you'll be you know excited enough to find out ways to get you know further now yeah. and play with other people you know jamming with other people it's like interacting with music I think that's important as well mm -hmm. write you know music if if you feel like that's your thing and one good thing is record your own playing and listen it back critically yeah definitely great tool uh, maybe not for the, the very beginner, but, but once you get past the, the basics, then it's a great idea to record your own playing because when you're playing yourself, it's hard to, you know, be, hear everything. Yeah, hard to hear everything and be critical because you're so focused on, you know, the mechanics of where to put your finger and which string to hit and, you know, whether you're in, in tune and, you know, so many things that you can't kind of observe it like an outsider. But if you record yourself or take a video even on your phone or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's the same thing with singing. Record yourself and listen it back. Yeah. Then you'll hear how you how do you sound and what, what you need to improve. Right. Although it might be a bit painful first, but it's you know that's how it sounds like to to the outsiders, to everyone else. So then um yeah, just listen to it. Just work on it. 
make notes you know if you spot mistakes then don't be discouraged and then it's good to find out mistakes because then then, then you, you can then you can correct them. them yeah makes sense so should we wrap this up so yeah. i can take a piece All right <laughs> well guys we just want to thank you so much for supporting this campaign and we'll keep continuing to make lots of music for you and playing shows and what else yeah once again thanks so much for for taking part uh, in in all that we're doing here for joining us with the campaign and for joining us here with the chat yeah. um maybe next time we we try to do it a different way around this time it was pretty hectic with with the messages just flying by yeah but we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can do it do again this this one will be uh recorded and it'll be streamed uh on youtube as well yeah uh, so we'll post a link in, in facebook to see it so next week later again as well people who wasn't there can watch it also right so so the campaign is going to end next, next friday next friday so let's make a let's reach the stretch goal yeah let's let's do it because we are in the same boat and the more resources we have the more we can do stuff for you like music videos and improve our live shows and of course build the windows on headquarters where we can record our own albums much faster so it's then it's a kind of win-win for everyone right so if somebody didn't see it we just posted this forest package expansion yeah a video and, and an update about it uh more free bonus stuff for everybody who who has already bought the forest package or will buy it before the campaign ends yeah so everybody who bought the forest packs will get this expansion for free exactly. you, do, you don't have to do anything you will get it yeah so then what we hope from you guys is still you know support and and spread the word uh watch the video there's uh in detail uh what you can do you know liking our posts um writing a blog making a youtube video about our campaign yeah sharing you know the campaign link to your friends and family you know every bit of help really counts yeah well let's wrap this up thank you so much guys cool this was we'll see you soon and hope you have a great summer especially in Ju july <laughs> cool. all right see you later guys see you